Okay. <clears throat> so... This is the first time that I will be streaming a game. I haven't done it before, so if anybody's out there, you'll have to let me know how it goes. Um... All right, there, and added that message to the chat in case anybody comes in after I've sat here and talked a little bit. Um, so I'm also going to be kind of testing this out. Um, we'll be seeing how this looks live. Um, I'm also kind of testing out how, um, how my little mobile stream deck is working because I've kind of worked on adding that into my regimen, I guess is what I'll call it. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little stream. I'm not planning on staying on for very long. I had a long day at work and I just kind of want to sit back and relax and have a little fun. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And hopefully this goes well. Um, so I've also kind of made, of course, the scene for gaming and the little chat section and everything. So uh, I'm also looking for hopefully some viewer feedback in terms of um, just how that overlay is going and if it's in everybody's way or whatever. Uh, so let me real quick make sure my audio levels are set to how I want them uh, for the game because I believe I need it to be up kind of high. The game volume is low um, in terms of input to OBS and everything like that. So that's going with that, that. All right. So. Get that started. We're going to transition now over to gaming. And I'm just going to hit the button and we'll see how it looks. All right. There we are, folks. We are on the main screen of the Unfinished Swan. So. Let's get started. I'm pretty excited. I've been wanting to play this game for quite some time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm sharing the experience with my viewers. Well, just get started. Okay. Ready, set, go. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. Okay. I've kind of... Yeah, there we go. this goes ah. 
Was that maybe the door I came in from? I don't really know what my controls are here. That's jump. That's jump. Click. Throws the ink. E throws ink. Q does nothing. Okay. Missing any points here, right? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like crickets. It sounds like I'm outside. It's a bush. I've hidden it now. <laughs> what else is here? Rocks? There's a little pitchfork. Oh, a bench. Like a little farmhouse. Yeah. That's still just trees. Definitely trees. This is quite the interesting game. I like not having any idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Mm hmm. Oh, I see a little feet. I'm hearing swans. Oh, there's water. All right, we don't want to go in the water, I don't think. Oh, look, a fish. Oh. It's a toad. Or a frog. It's very large. Oh. What was that? What was that noise, y'all? What did I hear? Is it still the frog or something? I'm pretty sure...
But how do I get over there? I have a feeling I can't go in the water, right? I do. Bad things will happen. Well, let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Oh. Okay. So somehow I was still walking on the tree, but I can't actually go out in the water? No, it doesn't let me. Okay, good. The game won't drown a little child. That's... <laughs> That's appreciated. Okay, so there is... a way... over... looks like... It is by these stones, maybe? Go back over there and see what, what I can do. Yes, okay. It's so weird. In a good way. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just cover every inch of this place with ink. stairs. Which side do I go? Go this way. I don't know what this makes. Just a little turret kind of a thing. Definitely a statue. Aha, it's a face. A face of what? <laughs> what do we see? It's just a guy, I guess. So not a throne, definitely a statue. There's swan feet.
balloon over there too. Hey. So how do I open the gates? <clears throat> Let's see. Got a ramp? Yeah, the swan. Definitely bounces off of windows. That's fun. Getting somewhere, I think. Oh, it's a chicken. I honestly thought that was going to be a swan. A little garden. Something. Oh, 
right. I think we're getting somewhere. I don't know where we're getting, but we're getting there. <laughs> I love that this hand is just holding a drumstick. <laughs> oh. As if I wasn't hungry already. Let's also think about fried chicken. Corn. Uh, Pegasus. I enjoy bouncing paint off of things. This. Uh. Is this where the chicken leg came from? <laughs> Probably. Let's go upstairs. I've gone the other direction. I don't know. Maybe they live in the same place. Uh, they don't seem to lead in the same place. Oh, but here are the swan's feet. Okay, so I'm still going the right direction. That's good. Okay. 
The king was young, arrogant, and amazingly talented. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers, and soon he found himself with bigger problems. Hmm. Is this the first page, or have I been missing pages this whole time? I hope not. <laughs> Exactly. Huh. Oh. Oh, that feels like it's far down. Do I want to do that? I guess I have to? Or can I? You can hear my little sneakers squeaking on the floor. That's just the cutest. Like, shove some of these that way. is technically black yeah I guess I have to jump down there huh okay oh, there's come back swan down there. You just jump? Yep. I'm probably overlooking so many things. I am so sorry if I am. Okay. That 
takes me. I just want to climb up there. You just through the doorway? Is this a doorway? This is this is a this is a puzzle okay so I go this door okay those two doors so this door and that door are basically the same that door will spit me out that door. That door will spit me out that door. Mm. Huh? Huh. Okay. Interesting. But I need to go... So... Here? Aha! Yes! Okay. And this is a new path, right? Yes. Ah, yay. I figured it out. I'm smart. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I saw that one coming. Okay. Wheels. A wheel. Basically means nothing, right? So, it's just decoration. Sorry, my fingers are getting a little crampy. <laughs> Hands are spazzing out. Okay. Let's see. I guess I just go up the stairs and hiding. The king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. That's a window. But we knew that already. Oh! Oh, what is that? <laughs> Whoa is right, kid. Whoa. Okay. 
see. Well, let's not go jumping in the water with that thing. I don't know what it's going to do to me if I did. <laughs> Even though there are technically stairs that would let me. Very tempting. Can I feed it? Oh no! Oh, yep. Yep. No to self, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I had to. We were all thinking it, I'm sure. I can still splash things. Cool. Where I came from, right? Oh, all right. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. Very well done. Ten out of ten. I was only trying to paint the canvas. I guess I painted the canvas and then some. Okay. Uh, don't know what that means. Did I just talk over something? I think I'm just hearing the goose. Or not a goose, a swan. I'm just hearing the swan. statue of the head that I saw. So this was the whole entrance. Here's a little cheeky. Okay. Cool. This is going to go very well. No, Swan, come back. Yeah, I figured. <sighs> okay. Will I be able to go back and get that map that was on the wall? Because I have a feeling that's the only way I'm going to get through this. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it, and it will probably do nothing. So just one second while I figure this out. So basically, go straight, take the first right, first right again, left, all the way up till you can't go up no more. little diagram I've done is gonna help at all um, but we'll see was designed to be beautiful, and it was. It was not designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Oh boy. This is where it came from, right? Right. This is where it came from. Oh, nice. 
nice. Like a little elevator. The king was so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. Oh. Well, no offense, but uh, if you really frustrated your people that much anyway, they're probably better off without you. Oh no, Swan, come back. Maybe I should. Telescope. Oh, look. I can't. All I can look at is the paintbrush. All right. Have to, to not use it. Do I jump in it? For the first time in weeks, Monroe felt good. He felt even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. Oof. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. Oh no. Who would put Monroe through all of this? <laughs> okay. Um, zero out of four. Zero out of four what? <laughs> So I just... Wait, I'm confused. Am I restarting this chapter? Monroe scrambled out of the water and found himself no, okay. in a massive city with no sign of the swan or anyone else. Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. These were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan, but unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived, and it was his day off. Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better, a floating ship. Well, alrighty then. Um, okay, however, I promised this was going to be a short stream. I don't know how much longer this particular little chapter is going to take. Ooh, blue! Ah, oh. nice. Okay, um, anyway, I think I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, thanks for watching me start the unfinished swan. Here's hoping that I'll finish it. <laughs> uh, so I will most likely pick this back up again on stream. Uh, I might, I might swap over to YouTube and try this out there. Also, so, um, unintentional self promo plug i guess go follow me on youtube just in case um same username and all that jazz it's also linked in the about me section i think um i don't know i will have to see what i end up doing with this also I'm noticing now that none of my Nightbot stuff worked today. Was I not? Is it because I swapped? Here, I'm going to go ahead and exit the game real quick. Uh, 
It's saved, right? Everything's saved. Okay, continue. And then chapters. Okay. All right, we're good there. Um, so let's, I'm gonna pop back over to up to nothing. Here we go. Okay. And I think the reason my night bot wasn't working was because I swapped to YouTube to get it started. I think I have to be logged in. See, I don't like that. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I manage several channels. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to mess around with this for a quick second. Um, enjoy the slideshow of art while I figure out why my stuff didn't work. Yes. Those are commands for YouTube. So. I. That's. Uh, super inconvenient to not be able to just swap between YouTube and Twitch. Like, you can, like, in OBS, like, when you choose your streaming settings and everything. But this doesn't. Or maybe I'm missing something? I don't know. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't want you to leave. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna log out and log in with Twitch. Authorize. Okay. Gosh, if I have to log out and log in every time I'm streaming, that is really inconvenient. Yeah, there's that. Okay. So. Uh, huh? That's what I want. Let's test this out, shall we? Yeah, okay, there's Nightbot. Hi, glad you could join us. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, it was because I was logged out, and it didn't shoot up any of the things. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, as I was leaving the game, I might try this on YouTube, make sure that everything there works. Um... Because I tested it out uh, a while back, uh, so there is a uh, live stream. There's no audio on that live stream because I done messed up. <laughs> I I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Um, I had my audio track turned off. I'm hoping my audio track is not turned off right now. I might check that because I could have been talking through this whole thing and nobody would know. Uh but I'm pretty sure you can hear me. My audio levels look fine. Everything looks to be working. Um, and yeah, Mike Ox cracked. Okay, so hopefully that never happens again. But I was experimenting, as I usually do when I'm not actually streaming. And uh, clearly I didn't... Uh, reset everything to how it was when I stopped experimenting. So note to self, don't do that again. Um, but 
the art's still good. There was still music playing. You could hear the music just fine. Um, and so there is a video on my YouTube channel that is not available as a VOD here on Twitch. Um, and it is a pet portrait, sort of. I, I'm going to use that term lightly because it's, uh, like I didn't, I didn't copy a portrait of a pet. This is just a, a painting of my cat that I did in the style of another artist who I really admire really admire um and I kind of I flip through and I show pictures from her Instagram and kind of pimp her Instagram a little bit um obviously since you can't hear what I'm saying I didn't do a very good job at it uh but her Instagram is linked and her artwork is shown and everything just looks amazing um so definitely check that out if you've got time to kill and just want to listen with some music while you're watching somebody paint and procreate uh that is available also um and then yeah so i'm still experimenting and trying things out so thanks for um hanging out with me and helping me learn and and figure everything out um so i hope you enjoyed the first part of the unfinished swan i don't know when i'll get to um part two or where I'll stream it, but I'll try and update everybody about it. Um, and yeah, so far, the stream deck is working really great too, so I've been enjoying that. Um, if anybody watches the rerun of this, because I'll probably post this also to YouTube as a VOD, um, if anybody's watching out there, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you're a streamer, and if you've used the... Um, what is this? This is the touch portal. I have the touch portal uh, on my iPad, so I can just set that off to the side somewhere. This will be extremely helpful when I finally get a good or better video quality setup situation for my um, sculpting. So when I move back behind myself where I'm at right now, again, um my crafting table uh, has its back facing my PC, so I can't see OBS. I can't really watch the stream. I have to do it all from the iPad. So it will be helpful to have the stream deck because then I can do my switching of everything without having to like roll around and then you're hearing my computer chair rolling around on the floor and all that great, wonderful stuff. And um, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that it will be a nice seamless transition and everything will work out and uh yeah just future prospects ideas hopes and dreams and all that jazz um and I think it'll be good I'm looking forward to it at least um we're looking forward to things being easier than it was the first time that I tried it um and I got some advice on video quality and everything, so I might try it again here in the near future. Um, also, just mind you, uploads to YouTube and streams on Twitch and any activity whatsoever is going to be very sparse for the next like month or two. Um, my full-time job is ramping up. It is our peak season, as we like to call it. Uh, so I'm going to be super busy. Um, I'm pulling 10-hour shifts this week, uh, every day. So trying to get work out. I'm honestly surprised I streamed tonight at all because I'm exhausted, if you couldn't tell by my voice. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm hoping I'm you know hoping i'll be active is yeah i needed the break away from thinking about crunching numbers and it was fun playing the unfinished one <laughs> and hello to my one viewer out there um sorry you're coming in quite at the end of it i'm about to wrap things up uh but if you want to watch the first like, I guess it's the first chapter of The Unfinished Swan. The VOD will be up, so you can watch that. Um, and then if you 
can't watch it tonight or don't want to watch it tonight, I will, of course, upload the VOD to YouTube also. I'm just kind of rambling on um, for the VODs, uh, essentially, just to let anybody who comes in and enjoys my content uh, to uh, know what I'm up to for a while. Um, I think after, like, May... Mid-May is probably when my schedule frees up a little bit better, so I will maybe be streaming a little bit more consistently by then, um, but as of right now, I'm just kind of streaming when I can squeeze it in, and uh, when the mood strikes, and also uh, just for my own sanity and relaxation, um, and in between streaming and working... <laughs> The limited two seconds of free time I might have. I'm actually working on like upgrading and improving the stream too. So, um, hopefully that's evident to people who have, you know, watched some of my first videos up until now. Um, I think my mic quality has improved quite a bit and I've implemented the new stream deck and all sorts of stuff so i'm enjoying myself and i hope my viewers are too um and getting to see what i've done um but yeah i think i think we're wrapping it up here folks so maybe yeah there we go <laughs> it's a little bit of a delay from when i push the button on the stream deck to when i see it um transition on screen but gosh i do love I, I love the transition that i made not to toot my own horn or anything but i'm quite happy with it and i really do like this ending screen too also quite happy so yay props for me for actually liking the stuff that i make that's always nice <laughs> but anyway uh again thanks for watching uh if you want to catch the uh, rest of the unfinished swan i will try to let you know on twitter when I go live, because I can now just push a button instead of actually having to type a million things and all that crap. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully I will stream Chapter 2 here coming soon. I don't know if it will be on YouTube or Twitch, so just be on the lookout for that, and I'll catch you in the next one. And again, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, just being here. And... It's nice, nice, uh, un unlonely feeling, I guess. So, <laughs> all right, I'll stop yammering on and get on with my night so you guys can get on with yours. And I'll see you later. Bye.